Now to a case that has sparked outrage and frustration in Tarrant County. Anthony Johnson Jr. died while in the custody of the county jail. For weeks now, his family has been calling for more transparency. And tonight, we're getting a look at new video showing what led up to his death. Johnson's family tells us he was a Marine veteran who suffered from schizophrenia. And now, less than four weeks after his death, two jail staffers are out of a job. We have team coverage of this story. Adriana D'Alba just heard from Johnson's family. But first to investigative reporter Tanya Iser, who was in the room when the Tarrant County Sheriff explained why he fired those employees. Tanya? Well, Cynthia, the sheriff says he fired uh, jailer Rafael Moreno because he put a knee in Johnson's back and left it there for 90 seconds after Johnson was restrained. And he also says he fired Lieutenant Joe Garcia because he let it occur and because he did not uh, act with, in, with the urgency, react to the urgency of the situation. Now, let's take a look at the first of two videos. What, what you're watching is surveillance video. These are uh, jailers that are doing what's called a shakedown. They're looking for contraband in the cells. And Johnson, according to the sheriff, didn't want to come out of that cell. And that's when this fight is going to ensue. Uh, you're going to see a, a huge struggle. The, the sheriff says that uh, jailers describe Johnson as showing superhuman strength. And then they're going to eventually get him down on the ground. And now let's take a look at this second video. This is iPhone video. It's iPhone video that's being taken by Frank Gar by, by Garcia, because he, he's the supervisor on the scene. And what you're seeing is Moreno has put his knee uh, in Johnson's back, and he's going to leave it there. Um, and, and that is what the sheriff says is the problem. And at one point, you do hear Johnson say that he can't breathe, and then, and then I didn't hear anything else from him. Um, and then the other issue that the sheriff says was that they didn't get him up off the ground uh, immediately. So let's take a listen to what the sheriff had to say. Two individuals that we terminated were being held accountable because they violated policy and it was below the standards of Tarrant County Sheriff's Office. And that would have been under any use of force circumstances where they displayed that. Now, we also heard uh, from the Texas Rangers supervisor today. Uh, they're doing the criminal investigation in this case, uh, and they said that's ongoing, and so we're waiting the results of that to see what will happen here, because this was the administrative portion of things. We still haven't heard uh, calls of death from, death from the medical examiner, and that is likely to take weeks, if not months. I spoke to the uh, attorneys representing both jailers today. They said these, these jailers will appeal, and one of the jailers accused, uh, one of the jailers' attorneys accused the sheriff of uh, be, the, his actions of being politically motivated, and he says that Garcia did, in fact, get uh, Johnson Im immediate medical attention. Back to you. Yeah, I get, Tony, I get the fact that we, we've got a ways to go in this case, but it really speaks to a, a broader issue at Tarrant County Jail. It's not the only death under investigation right now. No, there, look, since 2017, when, when the sheriff uh, took office, there's been 63 deaths, and there's been a lot of uh, a lot of commotion, a lot of anger, people showing up at commissioner's court. And next week, we actually have another story airing where we're taking a close look uh, at three deaths uh, that involve dehydration. And so we'll have that story airing next week, and you'll want to take a watch, take a listen. All right. Our thanks to you, Tanya Eiser, live in Tarrant County tonight. And now let's bring in Adriana de Alba, who's been at the DA's office this afternoon. Adriana, you just heard from his loved ones. I did, and this really is, frankly, the worst case scenario, they said, that they could experience. After watching the more than five minute video, they told me they are angry, they are devastated, and keep in mind, it has taken weeks for them to get to this point. They have been calling for transparency, and this afternoon, they showed up to the DA's office embracing each other, telling me they were nervous to view that video, but that they wanted to see it so they could learn the truth of what really happened to their loved one. Anthony Johnson Jr. Sisters and his mother told me the Marine veteran did not deserve the kind of treatment he received while in custody at the Tarrant County Jail. They are upset on so many levels, disappointed by what they say was a long wait to get answers, and they are overwhelmed after learning a jailer put a knee to Johnson's back for 90 seconds. Johnson's family and their attorney spoke with us moments after they watched that video. Everybody's crushed. I feel like I, I witnessed evil. I witness inhumane and 
everybody that participated i don't know how you guys are sleeping comfortably at night i don't i don't know it yeah there's no way that you can what's going through your mind in that room as you're watching your son battle for his life i gave my son life and i got to see it taken and all he wanted was help that's all Well, this is an emotional time for that family, but they say they vow to overcome their pain, to keep uh, pushing for change specifically. Uh, they want to see change uh, when it comes to the way that uh, footage of inmate deaths is released. Uh, they want to see all the jailers involved in this fired, and they say most importantly, they want to see change in that jail. Live in Fort Worth, I'm Adriana Dalba.